Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this module of functions. In this video, we will talk about what are extension function in case of Kotlin. Now, the purpose of extension function is to add a new function to the existing class. So it simply adds a particular function to a predefined class without declaring it inside the class. And the new functions actually behaves just like the static functions in case of Java. Now, practically also during the compilation, the Kotlin compiler also converts these functions into the static functions internally. That happens behind the curtain. So we do not see what happens behind the curtain, but exactly this happens. So let us now check out the extension function inside the IntelliJ IDE. So first I will simply create a class of, let's say, student. Inside this, I will simply define a function. So here I have a method of has passed. So if the student has passed the exam or not, will be determined inside this method. So if the marks is greater than 40, then return true, else return false because the student has failed. Now let us simplify this code by simply removing the redundant code. So here I am simply returning if the marks is greater than 40, then return true, else return false, right? Now inside the main method, I will simply define a code. So here I have simply written the code by simply defining the object of the student class. And then here I am simply passing the marks of the student as 57. So if the student has passed the exam or not, will be determined with the help of this code, right? Now, suppose this is our, now this class is actually our own class, right? So we are the sole owner of this class of student. Now, suppose this class is already defined. And later on in your application, you need one more function inside the class of student. So, so without defining the function right inside the class, what you can do is you can simply create a one more function. Let's say function has got scholarship or not, or let's say is scholar. So if the student has secured the marks greater than 95, then he is actually the scholar else he is not. So this function should be the part of class student, but for that we have to define this method inside this class of student, but we don't want to do it. So what I will do is I will simply use the concept of extension function where the syntax is, let's say you need to use the class name of student command C and paste it here followed by the dot operator. So here what I have done is I have simply used student dot is scholar. So whenever I use this syntax, this function is scholar will will now behave like a function present inside the class of student. So here I can simply use let's say print line scholarship status student dot is scholar right and simply pass the marks of the student as let's say 57. So here if I run the code right now then in the output we will get something like that scholarship status either true or false. So here we get the scholarship status as false and the past status as true. Now this scholarship status is false is coming from the extension function right here like this. Now if I tell you that this is actually not the practical usage of the extension function. So whatever we saw right now was just an explanation of the extension function. How do we define it? The syntax is like this. Now let us come to the point. Let us define a function and check out the practical usage of the extension function. So let us now change the code. Now suppose I define a string, let's say str1 of the type of string equal to hello. And now let us define one more string. So here I've simply defined two string values, string one and string two of the type of hello and world value. And now suppose if I define one more str3 of the type of string equal to let's say Hey, right now suppose later on in our program I want to combine these three strings that is I want to append these three strings together for example we can simply use str3 equal to str3 plus str1 plus str2 like this so this will work fine so in this way we can simply append three strings now suppose I want to define a function that is I want to use the string class to add these three strings, right? So what I will do is I will simply try to find out the solution by using str3 dot. Let's say I have any method that simply adds all the strings together or not. 
So here I don't have any method that takes two more parameters and simply add all the strings together. So what I will do is down the side I will simply create an extension function. That is let us create a function inside which we will add all the strings together, right? So I will simply create an extension function for the class of string. String dot let's say add, right? And now as a parameter I will simply pass let's say str, let's say string one of the type of string of the type of string again right and this simply return a appended string and now here I will simply use return statement and I will simply add this plus s1 plus s2 now I will explain you right now what is happening so I will simply use here str dot add and simply pass str1 and str2 right and now let us print the code by simply using the println statement str3. Cut this statement from here and paste it here. And now let us run the code and let's see what happens. So in the output we get hey hello world. So what exactly is happening here? So here I have simply defined the extension function of add. Now this extension function add is now a part of this class of string. Now this string is actually the predefined class whose code we have not written. It is already existing in our SDK. Okay, so we don't know how to modify this class. But in Kotlin there is a way to do it. We can simply add a function inside a predefined class. So this add function is now is a part of this class right of the string right. And now here it takes two parameters string1 and string2. And here I am calling this method with the help of this str3. Now str3 is defined here which is actually of the type of string. Now as already said everything in Kotlin is actually an object. So this string3 is actually an object. So we are simply calling object.add method. So string object.add method right. Just in a way that we call any other method with the help of the object. So this str3 simply calls this method and simply pass two parameters and inside this method I am using this plus s1 plus s2. Now this keyword is actually referring to this str3 that actually holds the reference for the string 3. Now string 3 is actually has the value of hey, s1 has the value of hello and s2 has the value of world. So we are getting hey hello world together appended and returned inside the println method and we are getting the output as hey hello world right and now let us take one more example let us try to find the greater number with the help of the integer class val x let's say equal to 6 and then I will simply use val y equal to 10 now these two are actually of the type of int right so don't forget this it is also the type of int now here there is no predefined function where we can simply call let's say x dot find the greater number like that or greater number. We don't have any method inside the integer class that is this integer class. So for that again down the side I will simply define an extension function for the class of integer dot let's say greater value and here I will simply pass one parameter because we are having two integer values 6 and 10. So the first one will fall here and the second one we will pass on with the help of a parameter other number of the type of int and it simply returns the integer value right. This is greater than let's say other. So here I have simply completed my code. So inside this method I have written the if else condition. If this is greater than other number then simply return the current number else return the other number right. So if we are calling x dot greater value and simply pass the other value as y right so here we will get the value as val greater value equal to x dot greater value y and now simply print out let's say greater value so when the statement is executed x dot greater value then it is simply going to call this function int dot greater value which is now the part of this integer class right and now here this refers to the value of x. The object that is calling this method the value of that object is actually stored inside this keyword right. So this refers to the current reference of the object 
and now the other one is actually the parameter that we are passing here with the help of y variable. So if the current value is greater than the other value then simply return this otherwise return the other value which is now the greater value. So let us now run the code. So here in the output we have 10 as a value which is the greater number among 6 and 10 right. So this is the way you can use the extension function in case of Kotlin. Now what are the advantages of using the extension function let's check it out. So the extension function has few properties such as they can become part of your own class example student, employee, user and so on and the other thing is that they can become part of the predefined classes such as array, string, integer, char or any other predefined classes that comes with the Kotlin SDK right. So always remember this you can make it the part of your custom class such as student that we saw in this video and also for the predefined classes such as string, int and so on. And now what are the advantages of using the extension function is that it simply reduces the code and it makes the code much more cleaner and easy to read. So it simply reduces code by allowing you to add add your own custom methods inside some class. So you don't have to modify your old classes or the predefined classes for just adding one function. So this is all for this video about the extension function in case of Kotlin. Thanks for watching and have a good day.